Hello again, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisper and Lesson 17 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam, the T5C questions. In this lesson, we go over electrical principles. All right, the T5C section of the question pool goes over capacitance, inductance, current flow and circuits, alternating current, definition of RF, and power calculations. All right, let's get going. What is the ability to store energy in an electric field called? All right, well, the ability to store energy in an electric field is called capacitance. And in a circuit, a capacitor is essentially two plates or conductors separated by a very small amount of space or an insulator. So the two plates are not touching. One side is hooked to the negative end of a battery or power source, and the other is hooked to the positive end. And what this does is the two plates, when current is applied to these two plates, it puts a positive charge on one plate and a negative charge on the second plate. The close proximity of the two plates creates an electric field and you can store energy in that electric field. For the purposes of this exam, this is all you really need to know about capacitance. However, I'll provide additional information in the link section. What is the basic unit of capacitance? Well, the basic unit of capacitance is the farad. And this is just one of those questions that you're going to have to memorize that, you know, when you talk about farads, you're dealing with capacitance. So remember, Capacitance, farads. What is the ability to store energy in a magnetic field called? All right, the, the ability to store energy in a magnetic field is inductance, and you need to be careful between inductance and capacitance. Capacitance is the ability to store energy in an electric field. Inductance is the ability to store energy in a magnetic field. You most often see inductors as coils of wire with a current running through them, and that current running through that coil creates that magnetic field. So just remember, Magnetic field, inductance. What is the basic unit of inductance? All right, the basic unit of inductance is the Henry, and this is another one you're going to have to memorize. So inductance, you're talking about Henry's. If you're talking about Henry's, you're talking about inductance. What is the unit of frequency? All right, this should be reviewed for you by now. Uh, the unit of frequency is hertz, or abbreviated eight, big H, little z. So frequency is hertz. You're talking about hertz, you're talking about frequency. What does the abbreviation RF refer to? The answer is radio frequency signals of all types. So all radio frequency signals can be referred to as RF. So RF, radio frequency, makes sense. What is a usual name for electromagnetic waves that travel through space? All right, now, this is, should be reviewed as well. Now, for the purposes of these lessons and the technician class exam, electric magnetic waves are radio waves. So the answer in the exam is radio waves. What is the formula used to calculate electrical power in a DC circuit? Now, if you know the voltage and you know the current, you can calculate power in a DC circuit. Now, the formula you need to know is P is equal to IE, where P stands for power, and that makes sense. I stands for current, which doesn't really make sense. I think I is taken from a French word, which I guess means current. And E stands for volts, which makes a little bit of sense if you remember that voltage is also EMF. And just remember the E in EMF. Now, the equation P is equal to IE is going to come back again and again and again if you ever deal with, you continue dealing with electronics. And just remember P equals IE, pi, it's easy as pi. Also, for the purpose of the exam, keep in mind that when you multiply two numbers, you can, like P is equal to IE, you can also rewrite that formula as P is equal to EI. So, on the exam, the answer is power is equal to voltage times current. So just remember, you can rewrite that formula, switching out the E and the I, and the I and the E is the same formula. How much power is being used in a circuit when the applied voltage is 13.8 volts DC and the current is 10 amperes? All right, so here we go with math. Um, remember, power is measured in watts, and current is measured in amperes. So if you take the equation P is equal to IE, P in watts is equal to 10 amperes times 13.8 volts. So 10 amperes is the I for the current, and you multiply that by 13.8 volts, which is the E or the voltage, and you get P is equal to 138 watts. How much power is being used in a circuit when the applied voltage is 12 volts DC and the current is 2.5 amperes? All right, here's another one using the straight P is equal to IE formula. So what we're looking for is power or watts. And if you substitute in the current, which is I, which is 2.5 amperes, and you multiply that by the E or the, the volts in the current, which is 12 volts, 
you have P is equal to 30 watts, and you're allowed to bring a calculator to the exam. How many amperes are flowing in a circuit when the applied voltage is 12 volts DC and the load is 120 watts? All right, so it's algebra time, and what we're looking for this time is the current, or the I in the P is equal to IE formula, so we need to solve for I. So if you take the base formula as P is equal to IE, and you're looking for I, you divide both sides by E to separate out the I, and what you get is I is equal to P divided by E. So if you're looking for I in amperes, you substitute in the watts, which is 120, and you divide that by the 12 volts, the E. And what you get is I is equal to 10 amperes. What is meant by the term impedance? The answer is it is a measure of the opposition to AC current flow in a circuit. And this is another definition you need to memorize. Impedance is a measure of the opposition to AC current flow in a circuit. And just like resistance, impedance is measured in ohms. What are the units of impedance? The answer is ohms, and this is another one to memorize. So resistance is measured in ohms, so is impedance. So what are the units of impedance? They're ohms. All right, it's time for the T5C quiz. So take out a pencil and paper, number 1 through 13. When you're done with the quiz, be sure to go to hamwhisper.com to check your answers. I'm going to go through the questions fairly quickly as usual, so if you need more time, simply pause and take all the time you need. Let's get started with the quiz. Question 1. What is the ability to store energy in an electric field called? A. Inductance B. Resistance C. Tolerance or D. Capacitance Question 2. What is the basic unit of capacitance? A. The farad B. The ohm C, the volt, or D, the Henry? Question 3. What is the ability to store energy in a magnetic field called? A, admittance, B, capacitance, C, resistance, or D, inductance? Question 4. What is the basic unit of inductance? A, the coulomb, B, the farad, C, the Henry, or D, the ohm? Question 5. What is the unit of frequency? A. Hertz B. Henry C. Farad or D. Tesla Question 6. What does the abbreviation RF refer to? A. Radio frequency signals of all types B. The resonant frequency of a tuned circuit C. The real frequency transmitted as opposed to the apparent frequency or D. Reflective force in antenna transmission lines Question 7. What is the usual name for electromagnetic waves that travel through space? A. Gravity waves B. Sound waves C. Radio waves or D. Pressure waves Question 8. What is the formula used to calculate electrical power in a DC circuit? A. Power equals voltage multiplied by current B. Power equals voltage divided by current C. Power equals voltage minus current, or D, power equals voltage plus current. Question 9. How much power is being used in a circuit when the applied voltage is 13.8 volts DC and the current is 10 amperes? A, 138 watts, B, 0.7 watts, C, 23.8 watts, or D, 3.8 watts? Question 10. How much power is being used in a circuit when the applied voltage is 12 volts DC and the current is 2.5 amperes? A. 4.8 watts B. 30 watts C. 14.5 watts or D. 0 0.208 watts Question 11. How many amperes are flowing in a circuit when the applied voltage is 12 volts DC and the load is 120 watts? A. 0.1 amperes, B 10 amperes, C 12 amperes, or D 132 amperes. Question 12. What is meant by the term impedance? A. It is a measure of the opposition to AC current flow in a circuit. B. It is the inverse of resistance. C. It is the measure of the Q or quality factor of a component. 
or D, it is the measure of the power handling capability of a component. Question 13. What are the units of impedance? A, volts, B, amperes, C, coulombs, or D, ohms. And that concludes our T5C lesson. Now that you're done with the quiz, be sure to go to handwhisper.com and check your answers. You'll find them under the exam answers page under the T5C link. And until next time and lesson 18, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.